Cardell Borg. Well, we recently had a little, some tragedy at High Spirits. We had a fire. And boy, when those things come into your life, they are a serious wake up call. I just, I remember, I, I froze. I, um, it's just, I felt vulnerable, very insecure. And um, I just couldn't get myself out of that. You know, it's just, it was just, it was really difficult. And for days, I just sort of, I froze, literally. And <clears throat> my son was concerned. And when, you know, after about three or four days, he came to me and said, hey dad, you know, when you look at fire from a distance and far enough removed that you're not so personally affected by it, it is a, it's about renewal. And it's starting all over. And I said, yeah, that sounds easy enough. So tell me more about that. I'm not convinced. And he was saying, you know, he had a, where he lived in Northern California, they had a huge brush fire and it was just devastating to them. Luckily their home didn't burn down, but <clears throat> he was saying like, after six months, there was greenery, the trees started to come back. And after a year it was lush and blooming and, and just full of life. And, I remember the next day I woke up and it really resonated with me and it snapped me out of it. Uh, and I said, yeah, you know, that's true. You just can't sit in this. I know it was really, it was a devastating feeling, but we do have to move on and renew. And we, we were very lucky, quite frankly, we, we were still able to make flutes. And so that it was a blessing in many ways. And I also reflected on just in general, how these huge events in our lives make it to have this amazing impact. And you don't ever know until quite a bit of time has gone by and looking back going, you know, it was hard, but it actually was a good thing, or at least it, it, it renewed and it changed things for the positive. And I was thinking about that for 4th of July, the birth of this country. Um, that period was, tremendously painful, death, turmoil, revolution, a lot of violence. But what came out of it was this amazing culture of positive thinking of, uh, and, and renewal and look where we are today. So I think this 4th of July, I'm going to celebrate the, just the renewal, the, the, the idea that something new doesn't always isn't always real easy to come by and we have to sort of pay attention to what it is that possibly caused that and also pay attention to the positive changes that it makes in our lives potentially so keeping that in mind i want to wish all of you a happy fourth of july